I was asked a very fundamental and interesting question which is basically about a non-mathematical phenomenon but in simple words when does the age of Aquarius really begin? This is um, a sage, Dr. Heath King, who is one of America's foremost psychoanalysts and a futurist too. And we were discussing what Rudolf Steiner had in his work about the subject. And I know that as astrologers we're trying to pin it somewhere between, you know, you could say 2040 to 2080, maybe there, because we say, well, the age of Pisces really began before our era. But Rudolf Steiner, for instance, says, no, actually, Age of Aquarius is somewhere towards the year 3700. But here's the thing, okay, we are all attempting to calculate, based on mathematics, a cycle of time that is, by definition, non-mathematical. It has nothing to do with astrology, which is moving Pluto through Aquarius, and you can calculate each day, each year. That's a totally different story. The reason we cannot say it is because it is an interdimensional convergence or energy cycle. And when there is a change in one of the major, major cycles like Pisces, Aquarius or belief system, knowledge system, that's an age. And those events during the transition of an age, which were in the process of they happen simultaneously on different dimensions of timelines. And so you have higher and lower dimensions and they experience that same change at the same time frame as our dimension, as we understand the new awareness coming in. So we're talking about something that you could call higher physics or higher mathematics, that's a way out. It's like cloud dimension mathematics. And so Atlantis, that's about the age of Aquarius, and I, I'm being given this by both sages studying, you know, futurists, Blavatsky, whoever. Atlantis knew this dimension mathematics. They, they could work with this, based on which they could build pyramids and ET crafts and all this stuff. Our current human mathematical knowing can barely grasp all of this. The yuga cycles have always been suggesting lower and higher dimensions and passages. And I was also told you cannot just take the 26,000 year cycle, subdivide it evenly by 12 and say so therefore it's 2,100 some years each time. Maybe not, maybe some ages are way longer than others. This is, as I say, no longer movement mathematics. We can see the stars and planets and we can calculate them, but we cannot see an age. We don't grasp yet this dimensionally higher mathematics. And I've looked at many futurists who looked into all of this. I mentioned Steiner. There is Asimov, Dune's Frank Herbert, Gene Roddenberry. I mean, Star Trek is fundamentally futurist. Krishnamurti was in his own league also a futurist as was Lessing with Canopus in Argos, and Blavatsky and Kubrick, Space Odyssey. So, what did the futurists say, really? I mean, when you sum it up, it's real simple. Or I say, it. education and infrastructure. Without those two, there's no future. So we can look at 2020, 2050, are we finally going to get into a higher level education and take care of the world planetary infrastructure. And these two things should lead to a planetary federation over the next, say, 30 years. That's another discussion aside from Age of Aquarius.